At one point, the Attorney General had directed me not to call it an investigation, but instead to call it a matter, which confused me and concerned me. It gave the impression that the Attorney General was looking to align the way we talked about our work with the way a political campaign was describing the same activity. Confused and bothered a lot of people. Former FBI Director Comey testifying under oath on June 8th about former Attorney General Loretta Lynch's attempts to put a political spin on the FBI's investigation of Hillary Clinton during her campaign last summer. And now suggestions that other evidence may exist that could provide evidence of obstruction of justice. Judge Andrew Napolitano, Fox News senior judicial analyst, joins us. Now, Judge, isn't it interesting how everything is turned around? Yes. And initially, this investigation was to focus on Trump and his firing of Comey and his investigation. Now it's going back to the Obama administration. Well, Jim Comey provided uh, enough evidence, I think, to commence an investigation of Mrs. Lynch, but not by Bob Mueller. I don't think this has any connection whatsoever. The, the special counsel. Correct. This should be done by main justice, Jeff Sessions, and it'd be difficult for him to do it because he's going to ask the FBI to investigate his predecessor, should direct the FBI to commence an investigation of her to see whether she committed obstruction of justice or misconduct in office, the use of the Justice Department for an improper purpose. Now, we should mention that Comey or reemphasize that he was under oath when he said that he had this conversation with Lynch, so we got to take him at his word on this, otherwise he committed perjury, and I don't think he did. But there's now new suggestions that there may be evidence. There may be an email uh, between Loretta Lynch and somebody in the Hillary Clinton or the Obama administration about how to how to change the verbiage of this. In fact, uh, Chuck Grassley sent a letter to right. Loretta Lynch saying, right. during your time in the Justice Department, did you ever have communications with uh, Representative Wasserman Schultz, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, she was head of the DNC at the time, her staff, right. her associates, or any other current or former DNC officials about the Clinton email investigation. Now, how has she answered that question? She hasn't answered it yet. Look, there is an institutional reluctance to prosecute the former attorney general because the present attorney general doesn't want to be prosecuted by his successor. <laughs> However, Jim Comey has raised enough eyebrows and presented enough evidence to justify an investigation here. If such an email exists, and if it shows, I'll use President Trump's least favorite word, collusion right. between the DNC and the DOJ, you have a very, very serious issue. Okay, we want to move on, but very quick on this, on this last issue. Uh, Bob Mueller's investigation, you mentioned it, it's ongoing. Do you think it is fair and objective? Do you think it has a capability? Because some people say all the staff that he's hired are, are Hillary proponents. I, I think it is fair. And I don't think there's a problem that his principal witness is his friend. Okay. Uh, prosecutors are often friendly with the cops and FBI agents who do their investigations and testify for them. Move